today is the day that I'm going to teach you about some tricks that will help you take a boxed cake mix and make it into something that tastes so yummy that people will think that you made it homemade. Just some couple little quick tips for that. So in place of the water and the oil that is required to go into the box mix, you're going to exchange it. You can do this or you can do all of it. It's up to you. Now I am adding in a packet of the instant pudding also to help add a little moisture. I'm going to add in a cup of sour cream and in place of my oil I'm going to use a third cup of the melted butter just to give it a little more of a creamier taste. There's three eggs that are required for each of these box cake mix and I'm going to mix them actually together. We're going to layer them on top of each other so I'm going to show you how to do that too to give you something unique, give you a unique take on this. So, and also we're gonna be putting milk in place of the water. So it does give it a little more of a creamier texture. And I'm adding in some vanilla. So it adds a little bit of extra. Now you could add in um, like some flour, all-purpose flour if you choose. You can add in some sugar to this, but you may, may as well just go ahead and make it homemade if you're gonna go that far. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get this in and I'm going to um, add in the lemon. We're going to do that first and then we'll do the strawberry because we are going to layer these on top of each other and bake them. And there's a little trick to that, a little hack trick that so you don't mix them together and they all end up looking like strawberry. I'm putting in the instant pudding for lemon flavor into my lemon cake and I'm also going to put in four eggs instead of three giving you some milk in place of the water vanilla the butter in place of the oil Now you can do some of these or you can do all of them. I'm going to actually just add the eggs one at a time. So I just put one in there and um, let it mix up here. After I get the eggs mixed in, then that's when I'm going to put the sour cream in. And once we do that, then we'll have a delicious cake. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my bundt cake and I'm gonna put in a little bit at a time. I'm gonna take a Ziploc bag, put my filling inside of the Ziploc bag and uh, layer it in. And then we'll come back and show you how it's done. Look how pretty. 
pretty that looks. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is take my sour cream, put my sour cream in here, and then we will mix this for about another minute, and then we'll layer it in, and uh, we'll be back at that time. mixed together and it does taste really good. I tell you the thing that makes the difference is adding that little bit of vanilla in there and it's so moist so I'm having to put this in a bowl because I need this to make my strawberry and I so I can layer them in together Okay guys, so this is the second part of my recipe here. So I'm putting the strawberry box cake in here. Now you can add a box of instant jello to give it a little more color, maybe a little more flavor for the strawberry if you choose. I choose to put pudding in it, so I took a vanilla pudding. Now you can do a cheesecake pudding, also the instant. Now you're not gonna be mixing your pudding like you would if you were making a like a banana pudding or whatever. You're just going to take it, put it right into your mix, and it's going to mix right in with your eggs, your butter, and your milk. So I'm going to do the same thing with this, and I'm going to add my sour cream in at the last. And uh, what we're going to do. Go ahead and put my paddle on and vanilla, milk, my melted butter, which is hot, 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 hot. And I'm going to put in the first egg and I'm going to start blending it from there.
Okay, so I put my four eggs in. I'm gonna let it stir a little bit higher here for about a minute, get it all incorporated. Then I'm gonna put my sour cream in and then I'll uh, stir it for about another minute after that. And then I'll get ready to layer these. But at the same time, Elsie is doing her great apple cobbler. And uh, we're gonna be teaching you a hack on that too to keep your pot from boiling over. So we got some good tips for you guys today. So I'm going to add in my sour cream. You cannot taste the sour cream in this, by the way. Um, in case you're fearful of that, do not be worried because you can't taste it. It just gives it a lot of moisture into your box cake mix. Brings it to another level. And we're going to stir that up and we'll be back. is we're going to put our first layer of our lemon cake down. I'm going to cut the tip off of our little bag. This is another pack too. You want to always cut the tip on one side. You can do it before or after, it doesn't matter. And um, Always make sure you put your stuff in the opposite side. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to put this in a little Ziploc bag so I can pipe this in there so we make it even. So Here we go. I'm just going to put this in the bottom of my pan. Then we're going to smooth it out a little bit. So, I'm just going to put down the first layer here. And I'm going to do a second layer with my strawberry. Now you can do this with a spoon, or you can do this with a, a bag, a pastry bag. So, just going to lay this on top. Because we only have one small spoon for this. So, 
it's just easier for me to put this on there with that. And once we smooth it out, I'm not going to push down on it that hard because I don't want it to become all strawberry. We want it to be lemon as well. So that's how it's going to look. I'm going to put some more lemon in here. And we're going to do several different layers of this. And we got two cakes. Now you're only supposed to fill your, your butt cake pan up about two thirds of the way because you don't want it to overfill it. Here we go. So, and we also can swirl this in there too to make it have a little bit of texture. But I'm going to take this and I'm just going to smooth on top of it. And I'm going to put one more layer of strawberry over it and that way and then we should be able to, I'm going to do two cakes actually because but this is a recipe that normally would be for one flavor of cake so we're going to do two cakes and then we're going to share it with our neighbors and they're going to think they had a homemade cake and we actually packed this. So Elsie, what do you think about the sour cream in the cake mix? You, you can't taste it and I know for a fact sour cream works because we put sour cream in our banana bread. So it's a good, it's a good substitute for sure. And it also adds like, it adds moisture, a lot of moisture to the cake. So we're going to make a glaze and I'm going to also teach you a hack on how to get a thick glaze. See today's just full of hacks. I'm going to teach you guys all kinds of cool stuff. Elsie's already taught you some stuff in there and I'm going to teach you some stuff here. And uh, I'm going to teach you how to make a glaze that will be thick enough that you don't have to have your glaze disappear when it goes on your cake. And then we're going to put strawberries, sliced strawberries on top. Hey guys, so this is the final step for this amazing cake. So this is our hack cake today. This is the lemon and strawberry cake. And the other cake, we decided instead of sharing it with everybody else, that it was too good not to try it ourselves. So <laughs> Elsie and I went ahead and cut it and started eating it without any kind of icing or anything on it. But I got half the cake's gone. Half the cake is gone. But of course, then you've got Ben and Roger and Mom and, and Taylor and everybody in here like digging in because they all love cake. So this is the last step. And this is actually a hack to teach you how to make icing that will actually not melt into your cake. Now our cake is cooled off. So we're going to put, instead of water, we're going to put hot lemon juice. There's two tablespoons of juice and of course we're going to add a little zest to this just to give it a little more of a kick for our lemon glaze. And you add in oil and we're going to add in some vanilla. So I have a little bit of extra sugar here to add because what you want to do is you want this to not be a watery consistency because that's how your glaze normally disappears. You want it to be thick. And we can always add in extra lemon juice or anything like that if we need to. Whatever, you have extra sugar, we have extra lemon juice, and we just um, modify it to what we need. And I might need a little extra lemon juice okay. for this. So. And what we're doing is we're making the lemon juice hot so it melts our sugar.
of this after we put our glaze on and I'll show you how to tap it to get your glaze to go down the sides because this is going to be pretty thick because we're going to have to pipe it. So what's going to happen is we'll show you how to tap it and rotate it so it slides down and it leaves this beautiful glaze on the cake and then we're going to put our strawberries which I've cut up and I put in sugar so it's going to be amazing. And this is a total hat cake. It's from a box we modified. And this is so easy and simple to make with this, this glaze. And the oil helps to give it a shine and helps it to be very smooth. Hello, Ben. So Ben just got back from the state park where we are going to be doing our Heroes Day here in Wheeler County. He gets this. Mm -hmm. And we'll just add a little bit in. So they're setting up the uh, pavilion for our Heroes Day for police, fire, and medical, and military. And we're going to be opening up a GoFundMe page here soon for that. So what I'm going to do is to help get rid of the clumps, you push the back of your spoon like this up against the edge and it helps to smash the clumps out so you don't have any clumps in here. So I'm going to add a little bit more of the lemon juice because I can always add more sugar. And there's going to be little pieces of the lemon zest in here so you're going to see like a little bit of yellow in here. So we're going to put in probably about a tablespoon and we'll check the consistency of it and see how that goes and then we'll be able to pipe it onto our cake, put the strawberries on top. We're excited for this. Now if you happen to like the thinner consistency, by all means, don't add more confectioner sugar. but we like to be able to see and taste the consistency of a thicker glaze. So I'll see, what do you think about all the hacks we did today? Pretty cool. We did one with the wooden spoon over Elsie's boiling. That works on anything, anything you got boiling. You can have potatoes boiling, noodles boiling. I think we need some more. Okay. tablespoon. So you just adjust this as you need. If you need more fluid or liquid in it, make sure that if you're using water, 
the water is boiling hot, so throw it in the microwave for like a minute or two. And if it is, uh, if you're using lemon juice like we are using, we left it in there for about a minute or so. And um, you want your, because you want it to melt. You don't want it to clump up and be all clumpy. But you want it to be smooth. And the heat of that will melt the sugar. Well, let's see what we got here. We are almost, almost there. there. Yeah, a little bit more. I think that will do. And we will give this a shot and see. Yeah, there you go, Wilt. Yeah, that's you can definitely putting consistency. That's yeah. what we want. Yeah. We want it to be like pudding. So what I'm going to do, we get make sure we have all the little lumps out of here. Smash it into the side. Oh, that looks so pretty. This will work on any kind of glaze that you want to use, whether it's chocolate vanilla, any kind of specialty glaze that you want to put on here, it will work for the same. And you can also use different kinds of uh, extracts too. See, we could have put lemon extract in here, but I think it would have been too overpowering with the lemon zest. When you start doing extracts though, you got to be careful because extracts will actually overpower real fast. Okay, so what we're going to do is take our little Ziploc bag do it like this here. See how it is? You don't have to have a fancy pastry bag to do this. You just have to have a Ziploc bag. In this situation, I wouldn't recommend cutting the tip until after you get all your glaze into the bag because the glaze is going to like escape easier than your cake batter would. So we want all this yumminess in here. Switch it over. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We were going to share this a cake with our neighbors, but um, well. We decided that we wanted to try it out first. <laughs> so maybe next time, Elsie, Elsie may be able to make this for them. Send them over some fresh cake. Here you go. What you're going to do is you're going to make three loops around. Oh, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Mm -hmm. All right, so what you do in order to get your Place to go. Set it down like that and it'll pop right down. Now you want to put your strawberries in while it's still a little wet so it sticks.
and I'm Debbie with Two Sisters Southern Cooking. We thank you for visiting our page.